it has been estimated that around 75% of heart attacks occur due to plaque in the arteries. Plaque is basically the combination of triglycerides, cholesterol, and other fatty substances that gradually build up in your arteries. When that happens, your arteries start getting narrow and stiff, reducing blood flow, increasing your blood pressure, and increasing your chances of having a heart attack or a stroke. So, if you want to prevent all that and clear your arteries of plaque, then you're at the right place. Today, we'll share with you some of the most powerful supplements that can lower your triglycerides and help remove plaque from your arteries. We'll also tell you about their dosage, how to take them safely, and any side effects you should watch out for. Let's begin with number one on our list, omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids may be great for lowering triglyceride levels and are also often recommended for people with high cholesterol levels or clogged arteries. The American Heart Association suggests eating non-fried fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, tuna, and sardines at least twice a week, since your body can't produce omega-3s on its own. But if your triglyceride levels are around 500 units or higher, your doctor might suggest omega-3 supplements. Studies show that regular consumption of omega-3s may lower triglycerides by 30 to 50 percent, which sounds pretty impressive. There are different types of omega-3 supplements, like fish oil, krill oil, and algal oil. Fish oil supplements come in two forms, triglycerides or ethyl esters. If you're buying fish oil supplements, go for the ones made with triglycerides because they're more in their natural form. Ethyl esters are processed and are more prone to oxidation, so they may rancid and become harder for your body to absorb. Algal oil is another great option. It typically has higher amounts of EPA and DHA and includes minerals like iodine. Plus, it's free from contaminants like heavy metals, which can sometimes be found in fish oil. So, it's a cleaner, plant-based alternative that's worth considering. A daily intake of 1,000 to 1,200 milligrams of algal oil has been shown to effectively lower triglyceride levels. But remember that algal oil is a rich source of DHA, which can interact with blood thinners and affect people with bleeding disorders and those with already low blood pressure. So talk to your healthcare expert about the most appropriate dosage according to your needs and health condition. Number 2. Red Yeast Rice Red yeast rice is commonly used to help lower high cholesterol and other fats in the blood. Its cholesterol-lowering effect comes from a compound called monocolin K, which is similar to the active ingredient in the statin drug lovastatin. However, high amounts of monocolin K have been linked to potential side effects like liver, kidney, and muscle damage. You can still find supplements with little to no monocolin K though they may be less effective at lowering cholesterol. Even so, they might still help with cholesterol, circulation, and digestion. When buying red yeast rice supplements, make sure they're certified by reputable organizations like USP or NSF International. As for dosage, most experts suggest taking two capsules twice a day, for a total of 2,400 mg per day. But if you have a history of liver or kidney issues, it's best to avoid these supplements altogether. Number 3. CoQ10 Supplements Coenzyme Q10 is an antioxidant that your body naturally produces. It's known for lowering blood pressure, reducing the risk of death from heart failure, and even lowering the chances of a second heart attack. It can also help reduce the side effects of statin drugs, like muscle pain and liver damage. You can naturally boost your CoQ10 levels by eating foods like liver, kidney, or chicken meat, broccoli, cauliflower, spinach, and asparagus. But if you're considering a supplement, probably the best form is ubiquinol. The dosage typically ranges between 60 to 500 milligrams per day. For better absorption, take it with a meal that contains healthy fats or look for supplements that include piperine or black pepper extract, which can help your body absorb CoQ10 more efficiently. Number 4. Niacin Niacin is an essential B vitamin that helps your body convert food into energy, but studies show that it may also be great for raising HDL or good cholesterol levels by over 30%, which helps remove LDL or bad cholesterol from your bloodstream. Plus, 
niacin's regular intake can lower triglycerides by about 25%. Interestingly, for people who can't tolerate statins or other cholesterol-lowering meds, niacin can be a helpful alternative, though it's not as effective as statins. However, taking niacin in high doses can lead to some serious side effects like rapid heartbeat, itching, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, liver damage, and even diabetes. The recommended daily dose is 16 mg for most men and 14 mg for most women, but make sure to talk to your doctor before taking any niacin supplements. Number 5. Magnesium Magnesium deficiency can increase your risk of clogged arteries, hardening of the arteries, and even strokes or heart attacks. Magnesium supplements can help improve the flexibility of your arteries and prevent excess calcium from entering your arteries and heart muscles. Similar to how calcium channel blockers work, magnesium comes in different forms like citrate, gluconate, oxide, and glycinate. Among these, magnesium glycinate is highly bioavailable, well-tolerated, and less likely to cause digestive issues compared to others. For reference, 350 mg is the recommended daily intake of magnesium for women and 420 mg for men. Magnesium glycinate usually comes in 100 mg capsules. Take this supplement as directed by your doctor. It's better to take magnesium with meals to avoid stomach upset or diarrhea. Each dose should be taken with a full glass of water. If you're using extended release or enteric coated capsules, make sure to swallow them whole. Do not crush or chew these capsules, as doing so can release the entire dose at once, increasing the risk of side effects. Number 6. Berberine Berberine supplements are among the best herbal options for heart health, particularly if you want to lower total cholesterol, LDL or bad cholesterol, and triglycerides. Berberine has been shown to protect against heart failure, treat arrhythmias, or irregular heartbeats, and lower the risk of death from heart attacks and strokes. When buying berberine supplements, aim for high bioavailability options, like berberine HCL capsules, which offer around 98% pure berberine with better absorption. Dihydroberberine and berberol are two high-quality supplements available on the market. Number 7. Vitamin K2 Vitamin K, particularly vitamin K2, has been shown in some studies to activate a protein that helps prevent calcium from building up in your arteries, reducing the risk of plaque formation. This makes it a key player in supporting heart health. What's interesting about K2 is that it's fat-soluble, so it isn't used up by the body as quickly as other vitamins, which means it sticks around longer, giving it more time to work. You can find K2 in natural sources like natto, gouda cheese, blue cheese, and egg yolks. If you're opting for supplements, a typical dose is around 45 mg of vitamin K2 daily. To boost absorption, take it with a meal that contains healthy fats. Besides these supplements, there are several forbidden foods that you must avoid if you have high triglycerides.